Hello guys, it is EA Info here. If you are not familiar with our channel, here we discuss technology and life hacks for the improvement of our lives. So, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs, and exploring how they're revolutionizing the creation of realistic synthetic data. But first, let's break it down for those new to the topic. What are GANs? All right, so what exactly are GANs? Well, GANs are a type of machine learning model, but they're not like your typical algorithms. They consist of two parts, the generator and the discriminator. Generator, this part creates synthetic data, like images or text, trying to make it look as real as possible. Discriminator, on the other hand, the discriminator's job is to determine whether the data it's looking at is real or synthetic. The GAN Showdown Now, here's where the magic happens. The generator and discriminator are in a constant battle. Let's call it the GAN Showdown. The generator tries to create synthetic data that looks real. The discriminator tries to spot the fake data generated by the generator. Training GANs GANs are like artists and art critics learning from each other. During training, the generator gets better at creating realistic data, while the discriminator improves at telling real from fake. As the generator gets better, the synthetic data it generates becomes more convincing. The discriminator, in response, becomes more discerning. Applications of GANs So, why are GANs such a big deal? Well, they have some incredible applications. Image generation, GANs can create lifelike images, even of things that don't exist, like mythical creatures. Data augmentation, they help generate more training data for machine learning models when you don't have enough real data. Style transfer GANs can change the style of an image, like turning a photo into a painting. Face aging and de-aging. GANs can make you look older or younger in photos. It's like a digital time machine. Creating realistic synthetic data. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter, how GANs create realistic synthetic data. The generator starts with random noise and tries to produce an image or data point. The discriminator evaluates this generated data. If the discriminator spots something fake, it sends feedback to the generator. Over time, the generator becomes so good at creating realistic data that the discriminator can't tell the difference. Challenges of GANs Of course, GANs aren't without their challenges. Mode collapse sometimes, the generator gets stuck creating a limited set of data, resulting in a lack of diversity. Training instability, GANs can be tricky to train. Sometimes, they may not converge to the desired result. Ethical concerns, GANs can be misused for generating deepfakes and spreading misinformation. GANs in real life GANs are making waves in various industries. In healthcare, GANs help generate synthetic medical images for research, protecting patient privacy. In gaming, they create realistic characters and environments. In fashion, GANs design unique clothing and accessories. Autonomous vehicles, generate synthetic training data for self-driving cars. GANs and privacy. GANs can also be used to protect privacy. For instance, they can generate synthetic data that looks like the real thing but doesn't expose sensitive information. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.